Christ is our righteousness. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 30. But of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. This week, we will take time to consider a very powerful and very important truth about our identity in Christ and who we are in Christ, specifically on the aspect of the fact on this part that we are righteous in Christ, that we are in right standing with God. The Bible tells us that, as we saw in 1 Corinthians 1.30, that God has brought us into union with Christ. And having brought us into Christ, one of the implications is that Christ has now become our righteousness. The topic of righteousness, the subject of righteousness is an important theme in the Bible. And the word righteousness and justification, they mean the same thing, both in the Old and the New Testaments. To be righteous means to be justified. Uh, or righteousness is the same as justification. Uh, it simply means to be in right standing with God, in a right relationship with God, to be in a state where you are approved by God and then where you are accepted by God and where God does not see anything lacking in you. You are righteous or you are, uh, uh, you are as you ought to be in the eyes of God. Now, humanly speaking or naturally speaking, all of us recognize that we are sinners and uh, we are frail and uh, there is no way that a man of his own accord could be righteous in the eyes of God. But here the Bible tells us that we are in Christ and in Christ, Christ himself has become our righteousness. So as a believer, you need to know that Christ is your righteousness. What does this mean? It means, first of all, that our standing with God is, is, is not attributed to us because of anything that we've done, but it's simply Christ who has become our righteousness. We have been blessed with that. We have been endowed with that. God has given that to us and Christ has become our righteousness. Then Christ has put us in right standing with God. It also means that our standing before the throne of God is the same as Christ's. That means it is uh, when, when God looks at us, uh, He sees us no less in our righteousness than Jesus Himself. Christ is our righteousness. Now, this is something so powerful, and we're going to take this entire week to delve into this subject of us being the righteousness of God. But remind yourself that Christ is your righteousness. Your standing before God is first of all attributed to you because of who, of Christ. And secondly, it is the same standing before God that Christ has, that before the Father that Christ Jesus himself has. So when you pray, when you talk to God, there is no, there's no need for you to feel inferior, unworthy, unaccepted, uh, unloved, unwelcomed. No, You're, you are righteous in the eyes of God. That state of being approved and acceptable to God has been given to you by Christ himself, and it is the same approval and acceptance that Christ has before the Father that you and I have. Christ is our righteousness. Let's embrace that and let's live out of that. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you so much that you have brought us into Christ Jesus, and you've made him to be our righteousness. Open the eyes of our understanding so that we begin to grasp this truth. And may our hearts be settled in this truth that Christ himself is our righteousness. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.